Hello guys, so we have an iPhone 11 here which is not turning on, not charging, no life. So let's check what's wrong with it. Plug in the charger and as you can see amp meter is reading almost oh yeah it gone to but yeah it's fluctuating which is not correct you know 0 0.01 and it went to 0 0.20 and then went back to 0 0.01 okay so let's check it what's wrong with it I will remove the screen okay welcome welcome Okay, first of all what we have to do we will remove okay see you then I found him to death okay so what we have to check next I will show you what I usually check and you know and then we can take it from there Okay, and now we will remove the battery connectors. Battery is disconnected. Now I need the. <coughs> now the first thing we have to check if we are getting charging bolts on the battery terminals just to rule out you know so, so this is connected you can see right yeah okay what we have here see nothing see nothing now assuming maybe something wrong with the charging thing so the next thing I would like to check if the phone itself is on I will connect the DC power supply and then you know if it's turning on with the external power supply okay that's how I found the one let's connect it and then we will try to turn it on oh no do you see as soon as I connect it here, it's showing a complete shot. See, it's drawing 2 amps out of 2 amps. <laughs> okay, so we call it internal shot. Huh? Let's check here now. That means the battery connectors are. Yeah, that most probably is the ground, and that is plus most probably and it's shorted let's see quite low resistance here yeah. here yeah. okay so now we know there is an internal short on the board so let's do some physical inspection maybe we be able to locate any component which is burnt or damaged Okay, nothing of any 
think we could see here okay we will let's open the board view huh? okay so now we have to check the battery connectors which is here come on click all right okay so positive side of battery connectors is connected to this component here that could be a resistor and then some components for line as you can see and three of these and then going all the way to the bottom layer to these pads okay so most probably what I'm thinking is okay what we should do so remove this shield or just apply some amps and yeah this is what I intend to do I'm gonna use the short killer because if there is a capacitor which is nasty and causing the problem that should we can just burn it huh that's the way to go and if it's not a capacitor a small component and we ended up with a bigger problem like maybe these pairs on U3300 then we have to separate the boards okay so now this is under thermal cam so I'm on 2 amps and and let's see if we can fix it easily so this is the ground okay and this is anything heating up that is looks like other side of the board okay it looks like it's burnt we don't care what it is as long as the shot is gone okay now we will come back under the microscope and under the camera and check if the shot is relieved or not okay now the first thing i would like to check what happens to the shot you can see okay this is ground side which is same and this is do you see uh, now it has before it was I think 3 ohms and now it's 68.1 ohms that could be ignorable but we will check so now remember the charging reading before yeah now see 0.26 0 0.38 it, it 0.67 that means it's charging now for me it's charging okay that we can check once we put the LCD on okay let's remove this and we don't need to connect any of these so that's fine where is the LCD it's here so see it's charging now the screen is broken okay so yeah it's a um, good healthy charging current as you can see see it is actually 80 percent charge but it wasn't turning on so yeah so that was an easy repair just uh, we killed the shot thank you very much for watching see you in next video bye